Look at these inklings and octolings, blissfully unaware of the end of the world. Now this guy, this is the kind of guy that we need. This person is the top of their game, mechanically, literally. Just finished all of the Splatoon campaigns? Please, please join us. I, I think you'll really be able to make a difference with your skills and maybe even your magic. I see your hat, I understand. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. You see, looking at this at a first glance, you think that this is like a guy being pointed at. Nuh-uh. This is a little guy pushing back a set of meteors. And if you've looked at the Splatfest art, you know that that's kind of the main problem. This is exactly who we need. Please, tell me where this little guy is. Oh, I, I, I see. I see your golden screen. Someone's been putting in the time with the splatter color screen. L listen, do you think after playing that that long, you could take that screen and make it like sturdy, sturdy enough to block an asteroid? Just, just asking, asking for a friend. The friend is me. Oh, okay, I, I think this person might be really gung ho on just staying home for this. They're, they're already, you know, they're, they're saying they're gonna go home right now. Do you think it's too late to convince them otherwise? You know, those supplies could be used for the saving squad. You know, just, just come, come on, come on, think about it at least. Give it thought. It's a creature. All right, all right, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. You want to make sure that everyone has something to really, like, look forward to seeing. A mascot, a creature, a little guy. Thank you. Oh, I, I see that this person, maybe their, their expression on their inkling really tells a story here. It looks like they're really planning to stay home. But you could reinterpret this image as somebody watching a simulation of the end of the world while we're trying to save it so they can have an idea of what to do. That's what that expression means. They're thinking really hard. I knew it. I knew we could count on you. Great, thank you. Hmm, it's it's like some kind of, some kind of code. All right, I gotta try and like do the code, all right? So we gotta go, we gotta go down, right? We gotta go down, sideways, left, and then attack twice. All right. <sighs> down, sideways, left. Uh, okay, wait. <laughs> How about down, sideways, left, and yeah, all right, so did it do anything? Hope so. Little buddy, my pal, you wouldn't leave me in this time of strife, right? You'll fight alongside us at the end of the world? Oh, 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 yes, thank you, that's an excited move, yes. Guys, you know how they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away? It's because apples keep you healthy. And this person, Archibald here, is one step ahead. They've got apples for us. Share? Share, please? I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't just have one apple, right? Right? This is why we need to eat the apples, by the way. Otherwise, how are we ever going to recruit people like this? Well, six days from now isn't the Splatfest, so you don't have to worry about the end of the world, but what's our new recruit talking about? Oh, yes, waiter! More impossible matches, please! Clearly this person wants to get ready for the end of the world by being put in extremely scary scenarios. Wow, really ahead of the times. You know, I, if I saw that face staring at me, I wouldn't even try to recruit them. I, I, you know what, I think we'll just let them stay inside. It's fine. All right, all right, let's pretend for a moment that the end of the world isn't even gonna be meteor or something like that. What if it's intelligent life? This person is trying to misspell squid, clearly, clearly on purpose, trying to trick these aliens, whatever they might be, into just leaving. If we don't seem like a very smart race, maybe they'll just go away, wait for us to develop more and come back long after we've all passed. Perfect thinking. Who am I to deny love on the battlefield? I'm just, I'm just gonna go. You guys can keep doing your same old, or maybe falling in love and going on a date is on your bucket list. <gasps> hey, you can't just be watching them like that while they're having a conversation. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I can't, I can't look at that. Wait, wait. Oh, oh okay. It's a sign. It's a sign all along. We have to go here to find our answers. Thank goodness. Maybe these two are both on same old, it is both their birthday. 
You know, maybe they're just celebrating their birthday together until the end of the world. Aw, cute. You, you got this, guys. You got this. Now, this is proper preparedness. I, I, you know, Inglila, I think you gotta talk to these guys over here about their birthday. Maybe, maybe you could take them along with you and be like, hey, 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 hey. Happy birthday and let's survive together. But I believe in you on that. I guess some people are a little tired of these end of the world discussions in the plaza. <laughs> Kids, could you, could you lighten up a little? <laughs> I, I think I see what the plan is here. Listen, she is a queen. Maybe she's got an idea to help us save the world. You know, you know, good thinking, Otto. Sadly, I think Pitu here is really trying to telegraph to the people that uh, th things, things might not go too well, but it's fine. Cause look, the, the post says, th th this is, this is fine. So if we all just stand still and also maybe use our friend down there's first aid kits, it'll all be, it'll all be okay, yeah. Now this guy's got the right idea. I think we all need to invest in a helmet or two, come on. When the asteroid hits us, You'd, you'd survive easy peasy, right? Come on! One, like, thousand pound asteroid versus one helmet? I think you'll come out on top. Inklings are squishy, we don't have bones, and it's fine! D do you think that we could survive asteroids if we're all imbued with fire? That's a lot of fire flowers there, you... You wanna share? Are you preparing them for us? Does, do they know about the end of the world? I hope they do, that's kind of the topic of discussion at the moment, but... I hope they do, okay. Oh my god, it's Gem Squid School. Do you have any advice for us? Please, please, please help. Please, please, get off your phone! He doesn't even know. He doesn't, we gotta go.